Hey everyone, this is Rasko, and welcome to part 17 of the LP of the Ghostbusters the video game. I almost said macros to er, <laughs> the the galaxy again. Getting worse. Really? This isn't the Central Park I'm used to. You still have your wallet? <laughs> oh wow. Uh, from what I heard, Central Park's an easy place to get robbed. Yeah, burn all the shrubbery just in case. There are some hidden goodies back here. Mostly the artifacts, obviously. But, uh, you know, not every shrubber is going to have a, a hidden secret. But, you know, it's a good way to get around and see things that you wouldn't see normally. Like a probably little secret or something. And I don't care. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Secret, secret. Artifact. Where, where? And if you guys hear any rumbling kind of sound, that's my fan. Oh, hello, right there. Uh, okay. A tree that burst into smoke. Okay. That's odd, you know, considering. That means one of two things. things. Either we're in trouble or we're dinner. Is there a difference? Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, proton packs in the rain. That's what the recruit is doing right now. Great. Wait a minute. I'm wearing one too. That's true, Ray. How's it going so far? Do you smell any burning or experience any painful taste? <laughs> You'll be the first one to know. Or the second. <laughs> I love this game's comedic purpose. I mean, they really kept to it. Like, um... Uh, fuck. Uh, Dan Aykroyd and, um... Harold Ramis really tried their best to keep keep the um, um, the comedy, the humor, uh, to the same degree of the original. And the team that was there that with them, uh, the team that made the game, uh, was um, really did a good job uh, to deliver with the delivery of the facial reactions. Uh, I believe this guy's weak to the Mason, though. Yeah. Yeah, they also, uh, be careful. Although the, um, they do, although it does take a lot of energy, the Mason, all the, um, um, all the pack's abilities, all the pack abilities, uh, derive from one another. So if one is starting to overheat and you switch to, from Proton to Slime, or whatever, you it does share the the heat. Uh, so, come on, get in the trap, you doubling grease. Of, there we go. Thank you. Oh, well, that takes care of the flyers at least. I'll pick up the trap after. I need support badly. Yeah, I'm on my way. Hey, hang on. Jeez, I wonder why. Maybe because I'm the one doing most of the fucking work. Although you guys are doing a good job distracting them and keeping them off my back. Um, yeah, this is pretty easy stuff. It's very basic now at this point. Again, like I said, now this being the true final level, er they're throwing everything at you. Cultist, uh, um, just plain looking zombie guys and... God damn, my light in my room is actually harming the fucking screen to see. It's even brighter than it... Its reflection is annoying. There we go. And if you guys any heard that text message, yes, that is from Yu-Gi-Oh. That is my friend's text message. We're not. Whoa! Holy shit! I was wondering why the thing was still going on. Holy shit! Um, I don't know. Wow! I can't believe I dodged that. Yeah. Um. Now right here, right about here, when it has little to no health, you can actually uh capture it like the second you see that it's uh, all good to go oh god damn it there we go it did it's it did it dead yeah it did it died yeah uh, it's explosion oh excuse me uh, the ex oh, what the hell there's a second one? Oh, that's a little unfair um, yeah, the explosion it caught, that, it, when it blows up, yeah, I'm on my way, Ray. 
Calm the fucking shit down. Yeah, see, I'm here. Don't worry. The rookie's here. Ow. I ran right into the wall. So, yeah. Uh, you probably noticed that uh, when I ran into the wall, it, um... There we go. Yeah, I think at this point I just did not give a shit. Uh, oh shit, I'm overheated. Ow! Finish it, Ray! Finish him! Oh, I got it. So yeah, that overheat, that explosion that it does when it overheats and it's about to die, it will uh, harm you. So be careful of that, ladies and gents. Uh, I messed up big time because I did not foresee that. Uh, oh shit, a third one? Come on, game! Holy hell! Give me some break here! Yeah, uh, yeah, this, they're throwing everything at you. So, yeah, of course. Give him the one-two. How do you want me to give him the one-two? He only has one weakness! Uh, <laughs> I noticed just then I did the, um... Uh, what is it? The, uh... Hey, here! Come on! This... Where are you? Oh, he made a hole for us. Cool. Okay, this part. This part has a lot of uh, new another enemy. I was like, okay, wait, there's something onto this wall. Okay. Uh, burn the trees. No, I didn't bring it out. Yeah, I know what's behind that wall. It's gonna bust open, isn't it? Uh, I really don't want to go near that wall because I know it's going to blow open by that stupid thing. Uh, there it is. Yeah, and we almost got hit by him. Yeah, I overheated quickly. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, the cultists are going to be the most annoying thing. The reason I say the cultists are going to be the most annoying thing is that they're going to be the ones that are really going to cause you the most trouble by... Firing off their little shots and things like that. Uh, no, I'm not giving anyone a chance here. Fuck this shit. Yeah, I know you are, but you're also in the way. Not my fault this thing acts as a goddamn shotgun. I really hate it when you have a shotgun type weapon. They want you to use it, but your teammates are like, Hey, I'm in your side. Then get the fuck out of my way, you dumbasses. Oh, uh, damn it, Ray just got me off. Wait, wait, that didn't sound right. <laughs> Ray just revived, oh god. I can't save myself from that, can I? Uh, oh, okay. The Mason Collider is this thing's weakness. Hmm. Yeah, time to use this thing. There, you should be good to capture. Uh, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. I see a ray. Hang on. There we go. Uh, trap? Trap? There we go. Woo! Yeah, ow. Okay. Time for the Maison Collider to do the rest of the job. I missed, didn't I? I see that, Ray. Yeah, this is why I like the Mason Collider. Uh, if you're just enough in the vicinity, it will follow them. And uh, now, as much as I say capture them, if you have no choice and you're still hitting them and it kills them, kill them. You won't get as much money, but it will cause you to lose and it, it won't they won't give you an, enough a, a lot of money but it loses it forces one more loss of an enemy for them so if you can do it do it come on oh you say up high ray but they're right in front of us yeah there we go Okay, what the hell? Where'd it go? There we go. Uh, 
Yeah, we got it now. What the hell? Yeah, I saw this happen. I'm like, wait, what? Why find cover? I got the ghost. Oh shit, you're down. Raise down. Raise down. Yeah, I'm not an idiot. I'm gonna t get him up. It's just, I really hate the cultists because they're more of the annoying variety of enemy. Yeah, recover trap in the middle of trapping a ghost. Not a good idea. What the? There's something there. There was something there. Oh, they left us another opening. Cool. Hey, if they're gonna lead us all the way to the enemy. Rick, you guys all right? Man, there ain't nothing dead in this grave. Thanks for joining the party. Yeah, after we've done everything. You don't say. You guys got a clear path for me. Ray, readings here are extremely unstable. Energy from the mandala and the escaped ghost is building up to a flashpoint. We don't have much time. Okay, so get shit moving. Got it. Uh, right. Uh, gates blocked by a bunch of skulls. Yeah, that's disturbing. That's a bunch of skulls. Uh, past me. The skulls. Hello. Dumbass. Oh, right. I was just looking at this thing going, hello. Past me. Oh, I saw something destroyed. I'm like, oh, right. Okay, skulls. Yeah, that's good. Thanks. Hold it on. Yeah, yeah. You've been driving. Get your ass out here and walk. I mean, seriously. This is a little. Oh, dark cavern. Yeah. No, we do. We can hop the fence. Seriously, that fence didn't look that big, and I didn't see any great, I mean, bars. I mean, if we have to take the proton pack and give it to the other teammates, sure, I'll do it. Yeah. You know, what is it with large cities and always having the apocalypse nearby? Seriously. New York, New Jersey... Gotham, man, you know, man. All this. Oh, these things. Uh, yeah. Now, here's the thing with this. This is a bit of a gauntlet. You just need to kill and move forward at the same time. But killing most of these things will do a quicker job. Now, if you're wondering where the artifact is, it's on the other side. Yeah, you can't scan it from here, which is dumb. But also kind of smart because they wanted you to walk around look at all the environment they built you know using using collectibles as a means to get a, an environment look I don't mind as much because it's not something that you know really irks me you know the the game creators took time to build this thing give them the opportunity to look at it you know uh, yeah 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 I the uh, photon stream at this point is really pathetic. Well, it's not hard to kill these things. There we go. The skull of what? I think I just got the skull of Gozer the Destroyer. Is that what I got? Now, ow, that hurt. The exit is a little hard to see when you're just using your normal eyes like this. Oh, kill it, Ray! I mean it, Jesus! Oh, crap, these things lit. Yeah, well, I'm using slime because it's easy. No, because I want this thing done and over with. Now, the normal exit is kind of hard to see. You have to go near the where you got the artifact, but rather than going right, you have to go left. Right behind these branches. The roots, whatever. Sorry, I said branches. My mad. Yeah, and I really love the music at this point because it's really hyping up to be something epic. And it is. I really do like it. You know, they really kept... You know, I don't care what a lot of people say that, you know, they... Some people don't like this game, like, because it's, you know, not the movie. You know what? I say to that... Don't bitch. We got something we kind of always wanted. 
And if you just watch the cutscene as they are, it's kind of like a movie. So yeah, don't bitch, accept what you got, and just live with it. Yeah, he's saying out because of the black slime. Yeah, there's enough black slime here to harm him. Or you. So yeah, try stay, staying away from it. And... Oh, I gotta... Uh, yeah, I should maybe just use the slime blower. There we go. And this is done and over with already. Yeah, this is actually pretty pathetic. It is too, because you know. And yeah, there's a reason for this edit. Uh, the next part can be a bitch. And I'm not joking when I say it can be a bitch. Um, the reason it can be a bitch is that, uh, the little angel ghost that you see, um, that we're about to see. Hey, over here, little help? He tried everything. Yo, this little help? is psychonically charged, rendering it effectively indestructible. Really? Mm -hmm. So what do you want us to do? Well, it's such an extreme... Blow it down? I suppose it's possible to cause it harm, but I don't think anything we have is going to make a dent in it. Really? We're talking about positrons and neutrons. I'm pretty sure you guys can edit up something right on the spot to make it somewhat of a nuclear wave blast. An indestructible gate attached to a damaged frame. A few concussive hits and the hinges might just break loose. Uh, 12 o'clock So, yeah, uh, these little angels are a bitch. Do not forget to scan them. Peter, go kick them. The only hope we have is to stay alive and keep them away from the echo. <laughs> I wholeheartedly agree with Rick. More precisely, yeah. the little stone angels capable of attaining speeds of 198 feet per second before they hit their targets, which is us. Yeah, these little angels are bitches. The particle throwers aren't doing anything to them. Tether them and smash yeah, Ray, them please help. So yeah, that's the hit you're supposed to get. Uh, the tether slime, or the slime tether, what you're supposed to use uh, on them, is that when one comes down or one's right above the gate, you're supposed to slime tether it to the gate. Like that, it will slam, cause damage to the slime, to the gate. Yeah. They're gonna give you the answer since they try to fly away. Yeah. Two hits. That's all you need. Uh huh. Hey, guy, a little help? I bet we could pull these gates down. Hey, Rick, we got a chain or a whip for this thing? I didn't plan for a fun filled day of off roading with Ecto 1, so no. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Tether the gate to my bumper and I'll pull it down. Okay, why not? That can work. Okay, good. Give me a few more, just to be sure. Okay, now the other side. I think you're supposed to do one or on each door, and that should be enough. Now we're talking. Jesus Christ! Thank you. you just ripped that right off. I'm not sure going underground now is a good idea. Come on, Spangs. Oh, getting there really? <laughs> Spangs. <laughs> I love their nicknames for each other. Yeah, and the fact that we have the Ecto One and the Super Slammer is the best way to do it. Uh oh. Really? What well, gave you that? They gave that away. Unstable from what? The whole thing? Or the fact that they were surrounded by ghosts, obviously. Huh. Open mausoleum gates. Jeez. Oh. Please. Don't tempt the ghost. Hook me up again. Yeah, okay. Right, the tethers. You know, you guys could do it too, eh? Wow, there's a lot of energy going in there. I mean, seriously. Yeah, the easiest way is to do the, a reverse shot. Oh, no, Ecto-1! No! Tethers held. My fault. Miscalculated. Winston! Oh, 
Oh, that sucks. Well, all five Ghostbusters in one room. This can only get exciting, right, ladies and gents? And we'll find out how exciting in the next part. So don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and take care, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Oh, well. Goodbye, Ecto-1. You shall be missed, and you shall be loved. Have a good night, ladies and gents.